If you're going to open a can of tomato soup, open one of these cans to make one of the best tomato soups that exist. Christina here. This is where I teach you how to ditch prepackaged foods and cook with ingredients you can pronounce. Make sure to stay until the end of this video because I will show you how to trace the origins of your San Marzano tomatoes on Google Earth, where they were grown on an actual farm in Italy. How cool is that? By the end of this video, you will know how to make a killer tomato soup in your Instant Pot using the best canned tomatoes out there, San Marzano's. These tomatoes will give you an advantage over other canned tomatoes because they are grown at the base of Mount Vesuvius in Italy where they are less acidic and less seedy than other brands. You want to start with the base of celery, carrots, and one sweet onion. You can either chop them yourself or put them in your chopper to do the heavy lifting, like this. Dust off your Instant Pot and press the saute button. Wait until it says hot, then add one tablespoon of olive oil. Put in your chopped veggies and listen to that sizzle. Give it a good stir. While that is cooking, chop your garlic. Never let anyone tell you how much garlic to use, so you be the judge. What I like to do is squish the cloves of garlic so the skin comes off more easily. You don't want to put the garlic in too soon because it will burn, so just cook it about 30 seconds. Now here comes the party. Pour in your two cans of tomatoes, and your six cups of broth or water. What I like to do is take some extra liquid and swish it around the empty cans to get all of the tomatoey goodness into the soup. Add about one tablespoon of basil and one teaspoon of salt. Give it a good stir. Cover that pot and remember to slide that valve in the correct position. Set it to pressure cook on high pressure for eight minutes. Yep, eight minutes until tomatoey bliss. When it is done and you see the L, release the valve. All right, watch out now. It's hot. Woo! Look at that steam! You can either use your immersion blender or scoop the soup out into your regular blender like I'm doing here. Look at that! Yum yum! This is my favorite cheese and I use it for almost everything. I cut it into small chunks and grate it. Look at that. Goodness, I could eat that whole plate, no joke. It looks like beautiful, fluffy snow. Add some of that snow cheese and a little bit more. The soup was gone before I could say sweet beans, but here's the next best thing. Delicious. Here's your bonus. Let's see where those tomatoes came from. You want to look on your can to where it says find my field. Then you want to put it into Google, findmyfield.com. And there you go, there's Cento. Scroll down a little bit. And then you want to choose your product. So I have a 28 ounce can of peeled tomatoes. They're not organic, so I choose my 28 ounce can right there. 
scroll down, and in that lower right hand corner, I'm going to enter in the lot number. This is located on the bottom or the top of your can. Mine is SL1E204. I'm going to type that right in there. Then you click on submit, and there it goes. See that bouncing red sign right there? And then you see that little man right there? Then you click and drag to get the street view. And look at that. Oh, there's a little Fiat, how cute that is. <gasps> and there's the farm. That's where your tomatoes came from. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? If you want a delicious grilled cheese sandwich that goes with this soup, click the video on your screen right now. And if you don't have an Instant Pot but wanna make this tomato soup anyway, I will link my stovetop tomato soup in the description below. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just telling you the real deal here about San Marzano tomatoes. The real deal because I think they are the best. I would never lie to you, especially with my pink hair.